Okay, hey guys, this is Paul. I'm back here in Herman again with John, and John's got a kind of an inter interesting build here. He's taken Frank's Skyfighter version two, and he's customized it, and uh, basically it's on steroids. <laughs> so what do you got here, John? I got a Skyfighter version two by two. We got twin 22-1206s with five and a half by 4.5 props, counter rotating, turn it on a single 2650 3S, 30C battery pack. Okay, so this should be interesting. Um, we're predicting the dual motors counter rotating will get rid of the torque roll, but um, this is going to be John's main flight, so uh, all I can do is wish him luck. Hope it goes great. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> Again. Oh yeah. That thing's whistling, man. Wow, that is touching. I can't even see it on the camera, man. Hey, do a couple glide tests, John. See how it's gliding. See if it's nosing down heavy or if it's going up. What's it doing? Is it climbing or descending? I am. What the heck am I doing, man? It's dropping a little nose heavy. That's what you want. He's in the 100 mile an hour club with the Sky Fighter. 101 miles an hour. 101. 101. Ooh, cool. With the twin motor setup. And that's on a half, almost dead battery that hasn't been cycled. I think it's screaming. <laughs> we got three people in the 100 mile an hour club now, man. Cool. The five, the six by five and a half. Uh, no, they did not. So I was going to say, that motor runs really good to take one of those props and cut it down to a five and a half by five and a half. <laughs> All right, we're with John here at Herman Airport again. He just got done dialing in the Skyfighter 2 with the dual motor setup, and he actually got it to break 100 miles an hour. We got it on radar at 101 miles an hour. Uh, what do you Very think cool. about that, John? The plane flies really good. I need to dial the rates back a little bit. It's still a little twitchy, but other than that, it's trimmed out and flying great. It's a good flying plane. And it's fast. Yeah. He's and happy. He hasn't even cycled the batteries. <laughs> I'm very that happy. Very, that was the very first flight on those batteries. They should pick up some speed after he cycles it six or seven times. Plus, I've been using that battery for all my setup last night till two o'clock in the morning. So oh, it wasn't even fully charged? It, it might have been a little low. Wow. Cool, man. All 300 right. miles. Congratulations. John, welcome to the 100 mile an hour club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here goes John with the second flight. One or two, one or two, mile an hour Got a little bit of a tailwind push, but it's all good. 106. 106. Hey guys, this is Paul. We're out at Herman Airport. Um, I brought out the old Nova Jet. This is one of my original planes. Basically, I redid the tape job and uh, redid the elevons and the vertical stabilizers, and I actually put a bigger motor on it. I've got the uh, Super Mega Jet on here. So, we're gonna fly it and see how it goes.
That's why I wanted okay, to Okay, it looks like she's doing good. It's uh, definitely more powerful with the uh, Creation Hobby Super Mega Jet than the old uh, 22126. Damn, she did that. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite planes, even though it was one of my first EPV, EPP builds. I think it was actually my first EPP build. And this plane has lasted a long time and has been through a lot of brutal crashes, but that just shows you how strong EPP is. also slows down pretty good too. I think out of all the planes I've built, this one's got the best flight envelope. It flies good fast and slow. And it's very easy to fly. So I have to look into making plans for this plane for you guys. Low pass, on. You get it. Like a salmon going upstream. A little hoity toity plane. <laughs> My only 15 ounce plane. <laughs> really light. Look at that.